More than 20 years ago, Mary Walsh decided to take control of her life by getting sober. Her alcoholism made her feel isolated and ashamed, but now as a spokesperson for Bell Let's Talk, Mary is working to break down the stigma surrounding addiction and mental health. She joins us from Halifax this morning. Good morning, Mary. Great to see you. Good morning, Beverly. How are you? I'm well, thanks. And so glad that you could be a part of this. You know, to tell your story as you have done is is one incredible, courageous thing to do. To be a part of a day like today and, and be spreading the word about this across the country, tell me why you decided, with the many requests that you get, to be a part of this. Well, you know, um, I, I hadn't even thought of my own addiction issues and all the addiction issues that I'm surrounded by, as so many of us are surrounded by that. It was really a mental health issue. It was really a friend of mine who the doctor said to his father, we're just throwing a cocktail of drugs at him in hopes that it will work because we really don't know what we're doing. And I thought, dear God, and then I realized that we spend the least money of any G8 country on research into mental health issues. Then the Elizabeth Fry Society said that 80% of women in prison in this country are in there with addiction issues, that we are arresting more and more people with mental health problems, that according to the Globe and Mail, it's spiking the number of people with mental health problems who are being shot by police. I realized that we're in a nightmare country kind of situation where people with mental health issues aren't getting the care, there's no access to care, we have to change it. And the Bell Let's Talk uh, initiative seemed like a perfect one to me because the more that we talk about it, the less we stigmatize it, the more we haul it out of the dark closet where it's been festering for all these years in shame and, and guilt, uh, the, the quicker things will change to get the help for people who suffer from addiction and mental health across this country. It also means that you with you know with your celebrity can help be such a significant part of this awareness and in telling your story it reaches people on different levels. Tell me what you've been hearing from people since you started to, to you know tell your story publicly. Well, you know, Beverly, last year, I, I just say this, we, I didn't, I was ill because I had emphysema, but I, so I couldn't travel to Halifax to do the show. So I had to do the different, uh, a Bell Let's Talk out of St. John's. And we went to NTV, which is the CTV av affiliate, and uh, I went with a Bell Let's Talk person, and the receptionist, when she realized that we were from Bell Let's Talk, she went, oh my God, you guys saved my life. You oh, know, like two wow. years before she'd been suffering from severe depression, everybody Somebody had said to her, it's nothing, you're just low-minded, you're just down in the dumps, there's nothing wrong. She saw the Bell Let's Talk stuff, she listened to Clara Hughes, and she went out and she got help, and it turned her life around completely. And that was the first person I met as the spokesperson for Bell Let's Talk, and it was had such an enormous impact. The very first person on our first morning said, oh my God, it's really made a difference. And of course, the more we talk about it, Beverly, uh, the more people, I've, I've seen, you know, sometimes I go to England with my husband and we take 20 young students from Memorial University over to the satellite campus in Harlow. And the first year I did that, when there are different shows, we, we go to the theater and people were very reticent about talking about mental health issues. Last year we did it and people were talking about their mental health issues, about mental health issues in their family, in their communities. It's, I think it's really, the money is great. The money is is wonderful, uh, but I think that the real issue mm. is the talking about it, the hauling it, it out of the closet. And, and it's changed, and there's, there's statistical uh, proof that it has changed, like with young people particularly. Uh, that demographic has really, uh, we've really seen a, a, a switch in mm -hmm. the way that they think about mental health. They're starting to think about it, at, and it's great, more like they think about dental health, because let's face it, <laughs> there's only like four inches or something between the two. <laughs> <laughs> It's so true, but it's so significant when people all join together and are willing to tell their stories to get the word out. Mary Walsh, pleasure to be able to speak with you this morning. Thanks so much. Lovely to talk to you, Beverly. Take, Take care. care. All right, we'll have a link to the Bell Let's Talk initiative on our website. And if you'd like to get involved today, here is how. Bell customers send a text message or make a wireless or long distance call on Twitter, tweet using the hashtag Bell Let's Talk, and on Facebook. Share the Bell Let's Talk image, and Bell will donate five cents to Canadian mental health programs.